anyways, you can do a whole lot of stuff on the iPad too, uh, namely scratching. But I'm going to go over a bunch of the cool shit that my iPad could do. Now, everybody's got an iPad, everybody's got an iPad too. But, you know, when you go and buy them at the store, you open up the box and you're all happy. You're, you're like a kid at the candy store and you get it open and you play with the, I think it's like nine, ten, some odd apps. And you, you know, the ones that come with it stock on board when you open it up. They're just, they're garbage, firstly. And secondly, they don't allow you to do even half of what you could really do on an iPad. Now, many of you uh, may or may not be familiar with jailbreaking. A lot of people think jailbreaking's got a real negative, negative uh, vibe around it, but uh, um, a lot of people don't know is that jailbreaking, uh, they, I can't remember who did it, but somebody fought and filed a lawsuit against Apple uh, claiming that if you own the device, you should be able to modify it any way, any way you feel. Now, me personally, I agree. I think if you if you buy it, you buy it. It's yours. You own it. You can modify it. If, if you if you know how to modify it, you should be able to modify it. But Apple says, "Oh, that was illegal." But they lost the lawsuit. Jailbreaking is now legal. The catch, though, is if Apple finds out that you did jailbreak, you lose your warranty. But me personally, the benefit of having all the apps that you could possibly want far away not just apps tweaks mods uh, just you'll see we'll get into that but having all this cool cool extra features far away the benefits of losing your, your warranty uh, I wouldn't even want an iPad or an iPhone if you couldn't do these things so let's start off by closing this out with a uh, with five fingers so we got the wood grain. Got only I'm a, I'm a minimalist, so I don't have very many apps on here. I just have the apps I need. Now I got the uh, turntables, as you could see. But I got this setup, which allows you to do full DJing. I mean, a lot of you real turntables out there are gonna hate and say, "Oh yeah, that's weak." But this isn't. I'm not saying this is used for like. DJ competitions. This is just like you need to set up. Uh, you need to set up a DJ setup and like that. I'm ready to rock. Now, if I was gonna do something serious, uh, clearly I would use uh, official equipment. Let's just uh, just load up some music. So the boy tell him turn me up. Katie on his beat. Crank it to the Anyways, uh, I don't know how Soldier Boy ended up turning up random on here, but never mind that. I got a bunch of stuff on here that people wouldn't uh, normally have. As you can see, I got all my tweets lined right up. So when I fire this on uh, at any given moment, my tweets are there. I don't got to go anywhere. I don't even have to. Uh, normally, you guys got iPads, iPhones. You got to unlock it. The little lock that makes the click sound opens up. Nah, that's not what we do here. I got everything. I got text popping up, mail, missed calls. Yes, you can make calls on here for free. And texts. Got your tweets. 
You can have weather and different stuff if you want to, but I, I, I don't really care. I just want to have access to my tweets. And I'm pretty sure you could put Facebook in, but I still haven't figured out how to do that part yet. Also, I can lock my screen so that I can get in and the Android lock. But when I want to lock up my, my screen, just say, I'm done with it. And most people got to reach over here and press this button. I got it set up to be, I just swipe the side of the screen and it locks down. Now that's a cool feature. And uh, I can send a tweet right here to Giovanni SD. We'll say what up. And then send the tweet out. Done. I can lock this back down. I didn't even have to go in there to do a tweet. So let's get inside here. I got so many tweaks on here I can't even remember half of it. And you're obviously everybody that jailbreaks knows Cydia. So that's Cydia there. You need that. If you don't got Cydia, you don't got nothing. If you want to get this, uh, you go to www.jailbreakme.com. You go there. Right from your Safari browser on your device. I don't think this works for anything past 4.3.3. So if you're if you're on a device that's past 4.3.3, you could just forget it. There's no point. It's not gonna work for you. There's there's other jailbreaks, but they're all tethered. Tethered means you have to have the uh, cord plugged up every time you want to um, every time you want to reboot it, which is to me is just a hassle. So so jailbreakme.com. You go there. You click here. And you would say jailbreak I would push jailbreak if I wanted it and it would load Cydia up just like a normal app that anybody ever had and it but except it would be Cydia now your device would be jailbroken when you go into Cydia you get all kinds of things. you're gonna want to install certain um, certain repos you do this by going to edit and then when you do when you do click edit, you click edit, and then it gives you an add button. Then you're able to add in sources. And these are some of the sources you, you're gonna want. You're gonna want Haculo. So that's Cydia.haculo.us. You're gonna want to have Sinful iPhone repo. That's and it's exactly as shown underneath. So you're gonna wanna have this. You're gonna wanna have this exact address. HTTP colon backslash backslash forward slash whichever. www.sinfuliphonerepo.com Got lots of good stuff in there. Um, let's see here. Exalize is a good one, and that's Cydia.exalize.com. That's another good one you want to want to add for sure. And um, between those, that should do it. I mean, if you end up getting any other ones, cool. But between those those ones there, well, you shouldn't have a problem. Pretty much anything you could want, you're gonna find it in here some way or another. That Cydia. Got some upgrades it's trying to make me do, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Let me get out of here. Now let me see if there's any other app. Oh, this app for your icons is called Barrel. So that's B-A-R-R-E-L, which you can find right here. And there's different settings. I got it set to Pac-Man, but you can put stair mode. You can. Make it all 3D like that. It's all different ones, but me personally, you have to play around with them. Me personally, I like Pac-Man. Makes all the icons go like that. A lot of people have mega video accounts, and they don't know how to get mega video to stream on here. Well, here's a way. You want to get an app called Old Player. O P L A Y E R, and you can get it from. Inst Installus. 
uh, install Lila server Installus. I think it's pronounced Installus. I can't really tell. Installus. I'm gonna call it Installus just because I feel like it. All right. So Installus. You go in there. You're gonna have to get Installus from Cydia. It's I N S T A L L O U S, and you can get that from the uh, Hackulo repo. And then you'll be able to get any app you want basically there we go so we got all the uh, possible apps you could ever dream for and these are an iPad version if you want to go to the settings you can change it to only it says only show iPad apps you just turn that off and you'll see every iPhone app as well or iPod touch um, it has everything anything that would ha you'd want it'll be here for sure no if ands or buts about that so let me get into this one the uh, old player so we open up the old player and uh, let's just say we missed our latest show that was on last night. We'll go to Mega Release because Mega Release always has good um, movies as well as television programming, recent television programming. So if something comes out like last night, chances are you're going to see. For example, America's Got Talent. Perfect. And this is only for mega uh, mega upload now if you have mega upload if you have mega upload you, you'll benefit from this because you won't have those uh, your times up and all that now when you get to your mega upload pages it's gonna say premium download and view on mega video now you're gonna want to you're gonna have the urge to press view on mega video because it's like a normal computer is what you would the way you would do it but on here it's different you can click on premium download and it says play the file play the file you wait for it to buffer for a moment and this works on iPod and iPad as well as iPhone all the all the devices and you can watch any show you want so I got all these secret little buttons like if I double tap the time the music comes back on and you can basically make anything do anything. I also have an app. If I swipe on this side, it's called SB Settings. You might want to have that too because it allows you to turn your Wi-Fi on and off. Um, you can theme this. You can theme pretty much anything. Um, but I, these are the themes I like. I like to have my name right here upside down. The Apple logo there instead of a Wi-Fi. Another cool app on here is called activator and what that allows you to do is make all these little gestures like swiping and it and it locks it or you can um, um, you can swipe down and it brings me my iPod so so if I was web browsing and I was listening to a song and I could just swipe down change the next song turn it up or maybe I'm done with it, so I'll turn it off now. And I didn't, I never had to leave the comfort of uh, Safari. Now I got the, uh, I got way too many cool things on here to go over. I'm having a hard time remembering. Um, there's an app called Talkatone. It's a free app. Google, email, Gmail, allows you to talk on over the computer for free to any uh, Canadian or US number with no charge. This app is called Talkatone. It simply signs into your Gmail and uses that VoIP that's already free to make the phone calls through your iPad. It's exactly the same way as it would on a computer, except it's a whole lot better because it's more like a phone. Same with it's even better when you do it on your iPhone. It's, it's it's basically like having a free phone. So that's called Talkatone and you can find that this program in Installus.